Well, hello everyone, hope you're doing well. Here we find ourselves Friday evening. So, happy, wink, uh, happy weekend to all of you. Um, so yesterday I was slandered and then silenced um, by someone I, I considered a friend, but never mind. If they want to bring hate, we bring love. If they want to bring um, confusion, we bring clarity. Um, so there you go, we keep doing what we're doing. Um, Everyone who joined my Discord, welcome to you. Um, it's a good place for us to talk in real time, and it means I don't have to necessarily go on YouTube, uh, YouTube and stream things so that we can keep in touch. So that's brilliant because the community is getting bigger, and we need to stay in touch and we need to plan things. So that's brilliant. So what we've got in front of us, if we've we've got two infamous people. We've got Resistance GB and we've got Pavlova on the right hand side. Now Resistance GB. Um, films fake arrests and um, is part of fake arrests and fake events as well and then we have Pavlov who's a crisis actor agent provocateur uh, speaker's corner who has um, security guards who look after him and make sure that no one stops his fake events um, so that's what we've got we've got two fake traitors here um, who, who saw, sold humanity out for whatever whether it be money or drugs or power, whatever it might be, they sold their humanity out. So if you see anything to do with these guys, you know it's pretty much going to be fake as hell. Okay, so what we've got here, we've got these two, like I said, actors, and then in between we've got this young, <laughs> young man, uh, this this uh, elderly man uh, in between. So this is from a, a few weeks ago, and I thought to myself, they're trying to promote this guy. They're trying to promote this guy because they've obviously got something planned for him. So let's have a look what they had planned for him, okay? One second. Okay, so what I want you to do is notice how many times they mention this gentleman's age, okay? Just, just count. So that was three times already. And as you'll notice, you've got two fake filmers here. You've got Resistance GB and you've got Subject Access. If they're film, filming something, it's more than likely fake. What I'll say to you is if, if this is a real event and you really felt that strongly about this gentleman get arrested, then you'd stop it happening, wouldn't you? Instead of standing there like a idiot filming and, and worrying about PayPal donations, you'd actually stop this man getting arrested if it was real. Because it's not real, that's why you just see a lot of hot air and people going, he's 92, he's 92. He's 92, by the way. I don't know if you've picked that up by now, but apparently he's 92. Um, what I would personally say is I doubt this very much would happen for the simple fact that they don't know the gentleman's condition. He could have a, a heart condition and this kind of trauma could cause him to have a heart attack. So me personally, I believe they wouldn't do this. Uh, if they wanted to arrest people, they would arrest people who aren't going to possibly have a heart attack. And actually, they'd arrest everyone there. Not just pick on one elderly vulnerable man. That's why I call it for bollocks. That's why I call it for a fake staged event. He's 92! Oh, there you go. And here's someone I didn't realise was there. See this good-looking chap here with the, with the golden uh, phone cover, yeah? The one who looks a bit Israeli. Um, yeah, that's Crypto Guy, who's friends with uh, Immortal Alien, who walked around with the COVID-19 as a hoax sign right at the start of the Battle of Trafalgar Square. And then on the occasion where Subject Access filmed Grey Bleeder supposedly get assaulted by police, Crypto Guy was there as well, uh, trying to break through police lines. So that's funny, because I didn't notice him until now. He's 
Just in case, guys, you didn't know, he's 92 years old, all right? And all the people, if it was real, all the people who were standing round and filming it, you are not helping anyone. Anyone. You're not helping anyone. If it was real, you'd probably give this old man a panic attack just for the simple fact that you swarmed around him like locusts and you're not giving him any uh, space to breathe. Yeah, so I would personally say that you're endangering this gentleman's life. If it's a real event, all you people crowding around, filming and not actually trying to stop it, yeah, you are endangering his life. He's 92. And also just shouting, shouting isn't going to help either. Shouting, crowding round, not allowing, not allowing people to gain, uh, to move around freely is causing, uh, causing problems. Look at them all just swarming round, taking photos, because that's the most important thing. The most important thing is that you take photos. It's not to stop him. It's not to worry about his welfare. It's not to, you know, make sure the police can't do this, but it's just to film. That's all you do. You know, it's like Subject Access says, all I do is film. I just film. Wow, brilliant. So when the new ward order came in, you'll be happy when you tell your grandkids, if you ever have any, if you're that way inclined. Um... Yeah, I just filmed people. What did you do when the new world order came in? Oh, I just filmed it happen. I did nothing because I'm a traitor to this country and to humanity. That's what you would say, Subject Access, Resistance GB and anyone else who filmed this. So, nearly three minutes so far of this rubbish. Yeah, and like I said, I don't believe it's real, okay? So let's have a look at some more context, yeah? Okay, so here in this picture, which is where um, the old man was uh, photoed with Pavlova and Resistance GB, you've got Pavlova here on the left, you've got Subject Access, you've got Spectrum Rectrum, and you've got Tyrant Finder. Now, anywhere that you see these four people, uh, even five of them, actually, Resistance included, just be aware that you're probably part of a fake event and you'll either get hurt, um, framed, or, you know, used, basically. And what's worse is that Subject Access is actually friends with this prick, Pavlova, on the left-hand side, the one with the feminine hair. He's actually friends with him, and Pavlova is a proven actor, yeah? You can find his his uh, acting agency profile online. Uh, so he's an actual actor, that's a fact. That's that's not me bringing hearsay and rumour. He's an actual actor. He's actually got bodyguards that protect him at Speaker's Corner. He's got two of them, okay? So he is not a normal civilian, and Subject Access is friends with him. So what I would personally say is Subject Access is a fraud and a fake who films people that he knows are getting erased, uh, arrested and it's a fake event. So he knows crisis actors, he doesn't give a shit, he films them anyway because he makes money off it. He makes money from your PayPal donations and he makes money from whoever, whichever government agency had funded him basically, yeah, with his, um, with, with his amazing quality technology that he's got, yeah. So... Again, look, you just see this guy, and the old man's name is Eric Levy, Levy, yeah? And it's just a load of rubbish, just promoting, uh, so everyone sees him, and then when he does get arrested, you think, oh, that's that old guy that I saw, Eric Levy, yeah, he's one of us, poor, poor old man getting abused by the police. That's basically what they think, 
Yeah, that's what normal people think. They think he's a poor, old, vulnerable man. They don't realise that he's in bed with literal actors and fake journalists who film these fake actors. He's in bed with them, literally, right? Um, you know, from the same stable as this lady here who decided to come on my panel and tell us how, you know, she wasn't a crisis actor. And even though that she'd had this traumatic experience, she was ready to sit there for hours and hours and hours answering my questions and other people's questions. Um, and I suggested to her, look, the effort that you're putting into this suggests to me that you're getting paid for it because we could go here for hours and you would just stay here. Um, answering these questions and I also said to her look if this happened to me or my missus the last thing that I would say to them is come on a panel full of strangers and tell them exactly what went on oh, it's not something I would really recommend personally so here's a picture of the old guy's um, arrest as you can see it's just perfect isn't it look poor old guy vulnerable old guy can barely even walk and look what they're doing to him and what I find hilarious all right, is what they say here in the paper. A man carrying an Asda Echo Jute bag is led away by police. Right? So, yeah, I just find it very interesting. They don't even mention the guy's name, even though he's actually... You can actually Google his name and find out information about him, which I'll show to you in just a second. So they don't even name the gentleman. They just say, a man carrying an Asda Ito jute bag. As if that's the most important thing. Why would they go to the effort of telling you what kind of bag he's got? Why are they, why are they promoting Asda? <laughs> it's just... I don't get it. I literally don't get it. It's like, is this some kind of joke? Yeah? <laughs> You're telling us that some old man gets arrested by the police brutally, yeah, for no reason. But you have to tell us that, um, you know, he's got an Asda eco jute bag. <laughs> I'm speechless, guys. So anyway, like I said, you can Google this guy and you'll find some hits about him, yeah? Because supposedly... He's an anti-war campaigner, yeah, peace campaigner. So here you see a picture of him, yeah. Um, so there's, there's one thing, and here he is again, look, right outside 10 Downing Street. Here he is on the right-hand side, yeah. So he's obviously got some kind of history in all this. But what it made me think is maybe all these supposed like Greenpeace campaigners and anti-war campaigners and see it campaign for nuclear disarmament and all this they were probably infiltrated as well because um, otherwise it wouldn't make sense that this guy here was doing the right thing and now he's part of fake events it wouldn't make sense so what I would personally say is maybe he's always been part of these fake events yeah and if so, then it's very worrying because it literally means that for decades we've been lied to, which is obviously the case. But when you see that even old men like this are part of it, it just makes you a bit concerned, doesn't it? And like I said, the most important thing for the Daily Mail was to tell you that this man had an Asda bag. <laughs> but you know what? On the bag itself... It doesn't even say Asda. So if you look at the bags, you wouldn't know it's Asda. It's only the fact that they literally told you it's an Asda bag, even though it doesn't say on it. <laughs> it's just crazy to me. It's fascinating. What I mean, what? What is going on? You get pushed by these two fakes who film fake arrests and are part of fake arrests and fake police scuffles, etc. And then, you know, wouldn't you know it? A few weeks later. Oh, look, here he is. Getting arrested with this Asda eco jute bag. I mean, what's next, yeah? You know, some old lady with a bloody Tesco value bag. And then they mention, oh, and here's an old lady um, with a Tesco value bag <laughs> arrested. It's like, oh my God. Jeez. I don't know what to say, guys. But anyway, just a, just a quick one about Eric Levy, the supposed 90-year-old man who got arrested. Uh, but the most important thing, everyone, to remind you is that he had an Asda bag. All right? 
Take care, everyone. No new normal. Unite the people to fight the evil. Knowledge is power. Peace, liberty, and justice for all. Big up to Dean and Rich. Thanks for all your kind words yesterday. I really appreciate that, and so does my family. You can give us hate all you want. We'll turn it back and give you love. So I wish you all the best with your families and your endeavours, whether it be with your dogs or your ill mother, whatever it might be, whatever your journey is, I wish you luck and happiness on it, yeah? You can you can say what you like about me. You can slander me and then not give me the chance to defend myself. That's up to you, Rich. Um, that's your choice. But I hope, you know, you can do that with, a, with an easy heart. So all the best to everyone, all the overkillers, all the people still trying to find some truth, all the people trying to unite the people. Blessings to you all. Take care, everyone. This has been John Overkill, and we are over and out. Peace.